Hey everyone, today we're going to do a fun little mini review of this Sabrent uh, two and a half inch SATA to USB 3.0 tool free air quotes around that clear external hard drive that I picked up. It's just your standard external USB 3 SSD caddy with a twist, but don't worry, we'll get to that. So for 12 bucks, you get this box, you get a wicked short USB cable, you get some paper, and a bit of plastic with the important electronic bits in it. And it's also, yes, yes, a fingerprint magnet. Mmm, look at that. Look at that. Now it's going to be up to you to supply the 2.5 inch SSD, and you're going to have to bring the problem solving skills of room temperature toast. Pretty easy. Slide apart the case, this side towards the enemy, and boom, it's ready to go. It's plugged in. And it comes with this USB cable that I guess you could plug in incorrectly, but you're only going to get to do it once, so you better make it count. After that, you plug it into the PC, and it's going to pop up like any other external drive, and uh, you know what? Let's take it for a little bit of a benchmark. This one's formatted EXT4, and it shows us that, hey, this old Samsung 840 still remembers how to SSD, only barely. Unfortunately, no amount of pretending this drive owes me money was able to free it. I could get it about this far. Maybe a little further if I pull on it, but I'm there's so much torque right there on the drive, and I can't get a good grip on it. Maybe some needle nose pliers. Fortunately, we have Hammer Chan. I'm kidding. We're going to use screwdriver chat for this. Freeing the drive from its new forever home is not too difficult. There's two screws on the PCB and we'll just pop those out. You want to keep track of them too because they are tiny. Let's flip the drive over and some additional percussive maintenance should free the drive along with the PCB. We can apply some mechanical wiggling and we're good. Drive safe. This is safe and... We can reuse it. You know, putting it back together is pretty straightforward too. I mean, I'm going to keep using this. I just thought this would be a fun video to make. Just make sure that... <sighs> what USB bit is that? I need to look that up. I want to call it USB D for like deranged. I've read into it like once or twice before. But you can seat that in. Make sure it clicks in place. And, and we're going to go ahead and put in the two screws. Looks good. Now let's just repeat, it's in place, and good to go. Good as new, or at least until I want to remove it again, right? No, I, I just thought this was fun. It's very secure, by the way. You don't have to worry about it slipping out. But I, I definitely question the tool-free. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. It could just be the Samsung drive. This is the only drive I tried it with. It's the only spare drive I had laying around. But it does work out of the box. There's no problem with it. And you know, for 12 bucks, that's about what I would expect. Just make sure you get uh, a nice solid coating of fingerprints on the case so you're not just noticing like a fingerprint. You just want, you know, top to bottom. That's the way to do it. So anyway, that's my little fun mini review of the Sabrent 2.5 inch SATA to USB 3.0 tool free clear external hard drive enclosure because that's the name even on the website. That's what they call it. Like, subscribe, Patreon, all the other fun professional things youtubers say at the end of their video have a good time with it leave questions in the comments if you have one i guess maybe i don't think anybody take a hammer to it don't take a hammer to it i'm kidding yeah leave any thoughts you have in the comments and of course there'll be an amazon link in the description as well all right 